Yo, what is going on YouTube? Long time. No see, but I am back guys today. Uh got well, let me adjust this. Oh, so I got my e-brake set up going. Let me go ahead and show you that. You know, so you push it. Boom. E-brake actuated. So you can see in here, I did made this little bracket. I put four sheets of uh really thin like aluminum or tin, it's like uh venting duct. So I cut those out and then I made one a little bit each long I made each one a little bit longer. So uh, that'll go ahead, you know, because they'll overlap and they'll have to, so I don't know how to explain this. So basically the bottom one is a little bit shorter than the top one and it gradually grows and grows. So they all equal just about the same. So I put that on there, you know, I uh, layered four up and then I put electrical tape over the top of it. So what that's going to do is get rid of the sharp edges and kind of uh, match how it looks, but it was more for, uh, more for getting rid of the sharp edges and everything. Then I got a button over here. It's a momentary switch. Got it at Lowe's, and it's working really good so far. Uh, I had a little problems with it yesterday, but then I tightened up this bracket because the bracket kept rotating. But yeah, I'm gonna post a video on how to do everything. You know, I gotta give a huge shout out to uh, this one dude. I got I forgot his name. Uh, it's like race something, but I'll uh, give him a shout out because he definitely helped me out a lot. Went above and beyond with everything, but it is working so good now. And I never really realized how. Uh, let me bring this in a little bit bring this down okay I never really realized crap, let's get that going how little I actually use the e-brake I mean uh, I, I'm using a clutch kicker so I always uh, try to enter everything with the clutch kick so it's definitely weird to use the e-brake I mean it is it's definitely really weird but so there's me with the e-brake and throw a little clutch kicking right there and hold it I just made this BMW oh my god keep it in but yeah, uh, it definitely adds another level to the game. I mean, I'm really excited to try uh, World Rally Cross. I got that game a while ago. I haven't posted anything just because it's so damn difficult. But uh, yeah, I got that game going, guys. I mean, I am like seriously beyond stoked right now for this whole setup. I mean, it, it took a while to take the wheel apart and fine tune everything. You know, it wasn't hard, but it definitely was time consuming because I did not want to screw it up. I wanted to make sure everything was uh, by the book. But the problem was, only one dude has like ever done this, made an e-brake that I know of, and actually posted a video on it and everything. But uh, yeah, he shout out to that guy again. I gotta put his uh, name and channel in the description down below. But oh my gosh, going for that clutch kick. But he uh, he definitely, like I said, went above and beyond, helped me out, sent me pictures where he soldered and everything. I kind of knew the connection. I ohmed through it. Uh, but they, they put glue on the back, so it was almost impossible to, so I had to stick a little, uh, let's change up to the lap. I had to stick a little, uh, what do you call it, paper clip onto my multimeter. If you guys are, like, electronic dudes or know how to use multimeters. And then I had to go between the soldering, or between the circuit board and between the switch. You can see a little bit of the, uh, the leads. But yeah, so this switch I have over here is single pole, single throw. So it only has basically open and then closed, open and closed. And it's moving my thing right there. It is a little loud. Uh, I couldn't find a bolt that had uh, like a smooth part. You know, this is probably, I mean, I'll, whatever. I'm, I'm done talking about it for right now. I mean, I'm going to post a video on how I did everything, like I said. But let's go ahead and get into some drifting, guys. So today, I did go drift in real life. It was my brother's car. Uh, we went drifting. And it is, it is very similar. I mean, mixture. I mean, I've never drifted in my whole entire life. But I drift his Miata. It opened open diff so it was a little kind of he said it was weak but I never I never drifted uh, like I said in real life so I didn't know but from what it felt like it felt like it felt like freaking a set of Corza mixed with uh, Forza 6 I mean it's crazy like my instincts kicked up and I went straight for the counter steer and I was doing the throttle and everything and we were just doing like uh, donuts out in this uh, it was like a really big lot so, you know, we were not doing it in the streets or nothing. We were, like, way, 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 way away. You know, I'm not all, I'm not, like, supporting street drifting in any way. But, uh, or dissing on it. But, you know, I'm trying to do everything legal. But it was just way out in the, like, the boonies where, uh, nobody would get hurt. You know, nobody would hear anything. It's like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. But, uh, yeah, it, it was definitely, like, uh, real life. But let's go ahead and jump into my car right now. So, I did go ahead and I test drove today a, uh, what was it, I think it was a 1988 E30 
two, no, three twenty five I. So it had the inline six and everything. You know, I'm trying to pick me up a drift car right now, like I said, and uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. And I didn't know we we're gonna do the school. You know, I'm just trying to test the whole ball ballpark and see what's gonna be uh, the best. Let me move my mic farther away. It's kind of loud. But yeah, just trying to figure out what the best uh, for my liking is, you know, with the whole price range and performance and everything. So I do like his Miata. His Miata is actually a lot better than I would have thought. You know, you think of Miata and you don't think it's like insane or you're about to kick this one in. Oh my gosh. I've been drifting a couple of days too, so I'm honestly drifting like crap. I mean, I drifted the last night, but I gotta get back on the horse. Uh, you know, it's, it's gonna take me a while to get used to it. So. But yeah, uh, I test drove that BMW. Uh, you know, I, I like BMWs. They're just expensive and stuff breaks. I mean, you guys know. You guys, I mean, you guys should all be car guys playing these kind of games with the G920. But it all adds up. I mean, that's the thing. You know, I want to do a drift build and put like, some coilovers on it, get some nice tires going. You know, get like a little camber kit. I want to do like the essentials. You know what I mean? Get like a nice uh, steering wheel and you know, see what it is to an exhaust. You know, headers intake. All that stuff, you know, but it all adds up. That's the thing. I don't want to go out and blow my budget. You know, I don't want to go out and blow, buy like a $5,000 car that's still going to need some work to it. I mean, I know you can grab cars, you can uh, just drift them and stuff, but the thing is, I want to make sure before I start drifting that it's going to be uh, reliable. You know, it's not going to break down because that would be the worst to get a brand new car and then have something go wrong. You know. So, yeah, so right now I'm basically between getting like an NA. Like Miata. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sorry, this ain't gonna be the best trip video, by the way, guys. I mean, I'm still getting back into the game. I mean, I haven't played for a while, which is weird. I mean, this game definitely seems like you don't play it for a while, at least for me. I just suck. Yeah, ah, uh, crap. Yeah, not too talkative right now. I mean, that's for sure. I gotta. I mean, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys know in my first videos, I never really, like, I always had breaks on me. Or in this talking, you know, I, which is all right. I mean, I'm not, I just like talking a lot, but right now it's just, uh, I gotta have full concentration. Especially with this e-brake, like I said, it's different to use to, but it definitely does bring a whole new element to the game. I mean, before, you know, you have to, uh, crap. Before your wheel was turned and it was like right where it's at, you know, the B button. B buttons look right and then X is. So I changed out my thingy because I uh, had to solder it to the right uh, bumper. So that's my e brake right there. Which I'm stoked both of them work. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to try not talking about the e brake right now. I mean, I'm really honestly stoked about it. I want to save that for another, another video. Give me some material to talk about. Give me something to cover. But let's get back into. Uh, the car so uh so yeah i'm looking at like a, a older bmw you know i love the looks of them and everything and uh you know they, they, they definitely got the power plant in there to do some drifting so does the miata i mean most rear wheel drives i feel like are going to have uh, a pretty solid start but then it comes down the line to uh you know what's it going to cost to start upgrading stuff you know bmw is going to be a lot more expensive than miata in my opinion just because bmw is a more luxury brand but the thing is, it's an older BMW, you know, and everyone's drifting them. So maybe parts might be a lot cheaper if I buy them used because maybe some guy crashed his, so he's selling, you know, his, his uh, coilovers or whatnot. So that's uh, so that's nice too, you know. But I, I w thought about 240, but it's like I don't really want to pay the 240 tax. I mean, if if that makes sense to you guys, you know, I'm all I love 24s, love the S13, S14, sick. But something about the S13, you know. I just love it. The flip up lights and everything. I mean, that's the thing I love. My brother, I saw him <laughs> when he was coming home, was doing the Miata wink, whatever the hell you call it. He just kept, that's what, that's what he called it. He just kept uh, flashing his lights back and forth. I really haven't drove this car, driven this car a whole lot, too. I mean, I just threw on a quick tune. But this is a 1991 BMW M3. It's rolling with 450 horsepower exactly right now, I believe. You know, everything's basically stock, or not everything's stock, but uh, 450 horsepower, uh, basically did everything 
or I don't know what I did, it doesn't really matter. But all I know is it's rolling 450 right now. I did camshaft, that's a necessity, you get those higher RPMs. But I am, oh my god, right I was going to say, I was just holding that good. Say break, break, break. Yeah, I'm excited to definitely try out some new games with this. I mean, it's going to throw a whole new, it's going to throw like a curveball at every game, you know? They're all going to, all these games are going to think that I just have to clutch kick or use the B button, you know? Forza probably never would have thought they would have seen the day of a freaking e -break. Oh my gosh. Crap. But, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm still drifting like crap. I mean, I was drifting last night with uh, Celerity and... I was running 900, I don't know why, I forgot. You know, I'm trying to get my wheel rotation up. Oh my gosh, close me. I'm trying, I'm trying to get my wheel rotation up a lot more uh, than what it is right now. You know, I'm running 630 again just because I have to get used to uh, the e-brake, which you wouldn't think, and I especially didn't think it would make that big of a deal getting an e-brake. It's just like, okay, well, it's basically this is how you slide. Instead of pushing a button, you pull it. but. Like I said earlier, like at the beginning of the video, I'm a clutch kicker. I'm not an e-breaker. And I didn't I always thought I was an e-breaker. And then I got this and it's like it just changed the whole game. I mean You know, with the tandems, you know, hopefully that'll help me out, you know, where I can just go forth. Long. You know, hopefully it'll help me out the tandems when I get close and I don't want to tap the brake and you know you know what I'm saying? So hopefully this was a good mod. I mean, it was, it was pretty cheap. It was $48 on Amazon for the hydraulic e-brake. Uh, I was going to leave the fluid in there and make the reservoir like recirculating so you would feel the pressure. But, uh, you know, that's just too confusing. I didn't want uh, some freaking brake fluid everywhere or, or hydro fluid, whatever it is. You know, so that's, uh, so that's that. You know, I just wanted to get... Uh, Oh my god. I just wanted to make it quick, easy to go. And it is good. I mean, I haven't really had an issue with it other than the button. The whole bracket for the button started to move, like I said. Uh, so what I did is I just tightened down that back. Uh, what do you call it? I call it, uh, you know, the, the back bolt. It was uh, Allen key bolt. It was really loose, but I wanted to leave it loose. So I didn't want to bend the aluminum. But so when I started tightening it, the aluminum actually held, thanks to it being four pieces. You know, you can always grab uh, a thicker piece too, aluminum, if you guys are doing this, but I just thought it would be a lot less trouble to have uh, four thin pieces and layer and like sandwich them together than one big one. You know, you can bend it more exact, more precise. But there definitely is going to be a lot more content coming to this channel. You know, sorry for the, uh, for the break. I mean, it's been like a couple days, it feels like. I mean, it feels like it's been a tourney since I've made a video. You know, I'm kind of missing hopping on uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects if I have to. I'm not really using After Effects as much as like I want to. You know, can't really throw in some cool effects. I did want to make a video though, where I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll surprise you guys with it sometime. But it involved After Effects and involved a lot of editing. You know, and I love editing. It's half the battle. Drifting is fun. You know, racing is fun. Everything's fun. But editing, for some reason, that's like, I love that. You know, I don't really do some crazy edits on this channel, though, you know. I have uh, another YouTube channel back in from the day called That Was It Films. It's in my uh, description box. Or it's in my channel settings or something. You guys will see it if you go to my channel homepage. But, uh, yeah, so that used to be my skateboarding channel back in the day when I skated. And I did some cool, like, effects if you guys want to check it out. You know, I wouldn't be butthurt if you guys didn't. My camera's getting up. But definitely I'm starting to get used to this e-brake. It's just uh it's just a matter of time. You gotta put time into everything to get it uh perfected. You know, I'm not not nearly as close to perfection as I wish. I mean this game is almost impossible to perfect. But just the entry using the handbrake, that's uh that's my step one right now. Step one is to get my handbrake initiation going. Step two would be using it uh like figuring out different spots when you use it, like while tandeming or kicking my back end down instead of clutch kicking. You know, like right here. I don't know. 
Just, I just want to, you know, I'm going to obviously start overusing the crap out of this now that I got it. Because who, who wouldn't, you know? I mean, let me guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys uh, are interested in doing this and would be interested in uh, a really in-depth video. The video I made basically covers the questions I wanted to get answered when I was making this video, or making this uh, e-brake mod. So hopefully it'll uh, help answer your guys' questions. Like, I'll go ahead and discuss how to take apart the wheel, uh, what wires to solder, uh, you know, parts list, total cost, estimate, you know, depending where you're at, uh, all parts are going to be different. But I will definitely leave the link down below on what uh, e-brake I used because it said it'd be here this week, but it got here last week. I mean, it was shipped within two days and it said it would take a week and something. So whoever shipped this to me, you know, they did a fantastic job. And I gave them a five star on it because it's just, I've never given anyone a five star on Amazon. I've never even reviewed an Amazon product. But for this thing to get here in that short of time, you know, kudos to them or kudos to Amazon or DHL or FedEx or UPS, whoever did it, kudos to them because that was uh, that was amazing. You know, my brother came in and was like, here, here, you got a handbrake for your car. It's like, it ain't for my car, son. It's for my freaking, uh, <laughs> it's for my freaking little simulator, little racing rig going on. You know, I've been thinking about getting like a, if you guys have ever heard of a butt kicker, it's basically, uh, what would you call it? it Oh, I forget the word transducer yeah it's a transducer so it takes like electrical energy and turns it into uh, mechanical energy I think is the definition of a transducer but basically what it does is it's like uh, it uh, sits on the bottom of your chair or wherever you want and it takes the sound from the game and it uh, turns into like mechanical energy so so if you go over these little bumps you know these I don't know what you call them I forget the name I never even knew the name to be honest with you so you go over these right you feel it on your wheel, you hear it, but if you have this butt kicker, then you feel in your chair like you're actually doing it. I thought it was kind of cool, you know, I might grab me one of those, just why not? But at the same time, it's like I'm trying to save for a real drift car, you know, make a whole little set channel on that, you know. Or keep the channel, but do like a weekly, like, what's going on with it. So hopefully I should be getting a, a car by the end of the week, you know. I'm always constantly doing research on it and everything. We're going to wrap this video because it's getting long, but, uh... Yeah, I'm always doing research on cars like pros and cons, uh, problems with the car, you know, overheating issues, you know, stuff like that. I mean, if you guys do know a lot about drifting, I mean, I, I know some of you guys do in the channel below, or the channel, oh my god, what did I say? I know a lot of you guys know a lot about drifting, because we've drifted together online, you've left comments down below, that's what I meant to say. Uh, you know, you guys should go ahead and feel free to leave a comment again of kind of what you would get you know I'm talking uh, you know everyone's different everyone uh, has different preferences but go ahead and uh, tell me what car you would get and kind of explain the backing behind it you just can't say like 240xx because you know everyone has them and, you know not everyone has them but you know they're probably one of the most iconic drift cars but you have to earn that name for a reason you know that's the thing about the 240s it has proven itself time and time again that it is uh, like a really good like starting like drift car like it will do whatever you want and it can have like endless possibilities versus a Miata where it's so lightweight you know it's got a 1.6 or 1.8 liter engine which is teeny but the car weighs so 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 little you know there's like no weight to the car at all and I was in, I was it's not fast by all means but it definitely handles amazing you know and then you got your BMWs which got a uh, you know, good powerhouse and everything. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about them, so I'm, that's why uh, I went to go test drive one. You know, I definitely love the way it's set up. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys, but thank you for watching. If you haven't, go ahead and uh, subscribe. You know, I do do daily videos. Uh, you know, for the most part, I'd say like 97% of the time, it's just, uh, I've just been caught up with doing this wheel. You know, like I said, I don't wanna do it right. I don't wanna screw up my three or four hundred five hundred whatever how much I forget how much it was wheel you know nobody wants to do that especially when I got a little channel going on because how horrible would that be but uh yeah so if you haven't go ahead and subscribe like I said comment uh if you got any questions about my build or you know comment kind of what kind of drift car you guys would get you know a cheap one too I'm not talking like I'm not a professional freaking drifter by all means I mean I've had maybe like five no I'd say like two minutes of drifting but it was the best two minutes of my life.
and like this video if you guys want to see more of the handbrake. I mean, obviously you are, but just like this video because I don't know why. Just like it because that shit's tight. I love seeing likes. I love comments. I love likes, love subscribes, but for some reason likes are the thing that's like... I don't know, the likes are so hard hard to obtain, you know, subs, they come, comments, they come, but likes, those are hard to obtain, guys. But thank you guys for watching, uh, we're going to end this video here after this last drift, let's we'll see if we can hold it, uh, as long as we can. Oh shit, that was horrible, whatever. Okay, see you guys in the next video, wet fingers, out. Oh.